They were enjoying the swimming pool, but they didn't notice the disaster around them. The summer break calls for kicking back and relaxing, cooling down at the pool, taking a dip in the sea and spending some quality time with the kids on the beach or local pool. I'm going to let you in on one of the most important lessons I learned early on. In my years of training to become a doctor, absolutely anyone can drown or lose a loved one to a drowning. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimates that more than 3,900 people die from unintentional drowning in the U.S. each year with one in five under 14 years old. And for each pediatric fatality, another five children require emergency care for non-fatal drownings that can cause irreversible organ damage. Every patient or family I've cared for after a drowning accident has said that they didn't think it could happen to them. And yet, it happens, along with the cruel if-onlys that haunt cautious and well-intentioned people in the aftermath. If only I'd done something different or known what to look for. I hear this again and again, especially from those who've lost a child. A CCTV video footage showing an eagle-eyed lifeguard spotting a drowning boy in the middle of a packed pool full of swimmers is going viral. As of this writing, the video has been watched 914,640 times. The lifeguard's quick response is drawing praises from people who had seen the video and credited her for saving the life of the boy. One YouTube user who saw the video commented, Awesome response time, guys. In the video, a boy was seen having trouble in the middle of the pool full of swimmers, with some using rubber rings as the wave machine was turned on. Over 10 seconds of the clip, it shows that the child's rubber ring was tipped off by the strong artificial current, with the boy quickly panicking. Luckily, a lady lifeguard spots the boy flailing his arms as he struggles to keep afloat and blew her whistle before jumping into the water. Within seconds, the lady lifeguard reached the boy in distress and pulled his head and shoulders above the water before patting the child's back to check if the lungs are clear. She allowed the boy to hold on to the floating device as they both swam back to the ladder at the side of the pool to safety. Water experts said the video highlights the dangers of allowing children to swim unattended even in a crowded swimming pool. Statistics showed that half of children who drown die within 25 yards of a parent or adult, reported by the Daily Mail. Men and children are the most at risk of drowning, according to statistics. The video is also aimed at reminding the public how difficult it can be to spot a child struggling in the water, even if the pool is packed with other people, because of the constant splashing action. It's unclear where the footage was filmed. According to the World Health Organization, drowning is the third leading cause of all unintentional injury death worldwide. The Consumer Product Safety Commission, CPSC, reported 364 fatal pool drownings among children under age 15 in 2012, the majority of which occurred in residential pools. On its website, the CPSC Pool Safety offers these simple guidelines for staying safe in pools and spas. Stay close, be alert, and watch. As the video demonstrates, a swimmer can end up in danger in the blink of an eye. Nothing can replace constant supervision, so don't take your eyes off your children around water. Learn and practice water safety skills. Not only is it critical to learn to swim, but it's also important to learn how to perform CPR on both children and adults as well as other life-saving procedures. Have the appropriate equipment. This includes fences and self-closing, self-latching gates, alarms, and drain covers, as well as life-saving equipment like poles and life rings. Many one-year-old babies can benefit from swim classes taught by a skilled instructor, according to the AAP. Children develop along different timelines, so check with your doctor to see if your child's ready to start. It's impossible to fully control environments where water and kids mix, but what we do know about drowning is this. Sharp-eyed adult supervision is key to prevention, and parents can't do it alone. If we all share the responsibility whenever we're near the water, we can save lives.